Hey, what's up, guys? I know I've been posting pictures and telling you guys this one is coming soon, but now I finally got it done. Let's hop straight into the build. It's 3DB. So with this Power Ranger helmet, I didn't really have to do too much sanding. Because of the slices that I did, everything pretty much built upwards. So it was very easy for my printer to adjust. And there weren't too many gaps, holes, anything like that. So I just gave it some light sanding. Um, I did it with my 220 grit sandpaper. As you guys know, that's usually the sandpaper that I end with. But I started with this time because again, Everything was pretty smooth, so I just want to get it sanded ju just so that the paint can stick a lot easier. And what you're going to be seeing me do now, same thing as always, it's connecting the parts. So PLA welding, usually I do this from the inside out, but with the cut that I did on the dome, what I'm going to be doing, since you see that little slice right there, I'm just going to be welding on the outside very careful. I'm going to be very careful because this keeps sliding over and it, uh, the I have to make sure that it's aligned perfectly. So I'm gonna line it up from the outside and then go inside and get a lot stronger. So I'll show you guys when that's done. But um, pretty much you've probably seen me weld before. I just want the two sides to come as one. All right, I'm just going around. Again, making sure every time I start, everything is still lined up. And I'm just bringing these two sides together. I try to be a little careful. I'm still going to have to fill this up, filler, primer, all of that good stuff. But my main thing is that the two are connected and joined well. And then from there, everything will be good on the inside. Will they at least be connected so that way when I get on the inside, I can go a lot harder. Kind of just like pushing this part down, like melting the higher side. All right, and now 
And now that I got it on the outside, coming to the inside, like I said, I can get a lot more deep and in depth. And start to kind of like cross the joint like that. Always do this before paint, so that way you don't have an issue with your paint. And then I'm just going to go across this line and then tighten that up. All right, so this, the top is a little bit higher than the lower part, so I'm just kind of like burning the top half to even out with it and melting them together. this a lot more even so I just run it over there all right and then like I said uh, what this does is it makes your print a lot more durable so the bind there is a lot I trust this a lot more than I would with like hot glue or regular uh, super glue in there you could probably still put some there if you feel comfortable but like I said instantly this sticks together feel comfortable with it and then all i have to do is put wood filler over that and again the wood filler adds to the durability as well so each time i'm doing these steps it's making my print stronger and stronger and stronger but now i'm just going to do that to the rest of the helmet and assemble everything all right so now all i did was weld this part so this top part of the shield to the mount so you can see that little line right there that I did. And then on this side as well. Now, this is where it's gonna get a little bit hard because the, the top of the dome I made a little bit with more infill. So it's a little bit heavier than this part. But we'll make it work. We shall make it work. Let me see, let me see what we can do here. Oh, sorry to be putting you guys in the dark over here. I know. I'll put this upside down. And then put this right side up. There we go. See guys, Northeastern that engineering degree it came in work, it came in handy for something. <laughs> There we go. So I'll do it like this. And then just line these two up. All right, so boom, I got it. So pretty much just line these two up like that. And now from the inside, I'm just gonna take the soldering iron and then just bring these two parts together. But before I do so, I'm just gonna tape so nothing moves. And then make sure where I taped and it's staying that everything is still lined up. Just uses some good old handy dandy duct tape. I tried painter's tape, but the painter's tape doesn't really stick. I think it's because I probably sanded. And now it's like, it's not getting adhesive because of the sand, like the little dust particles. All right, I just put those two together, get everything. Everything's looking good. Our lines are meeting up. All right. And now I'm just going to weld the two parts together. So 
since I got one side stuck, I'll leave this side a little loose. I won't tape this side down just so I can make sure I'm getting everything like spot on. So that way you can't really tell that I did any of this. I still want it to look like one. And if I got some lines that are off, you probably won't get that effect. Again, on the outside, I'm making sure to be very careful not to leave like crazy weld marks or anything like that because I want the details still. But again, this is just the first part. I'm still gonna have to sand a little bit more. Well, not sand. I'm still gonna have to add some wood filler the whole night. And get some like clamps too to like help you with this to hold everything in place. Me, I just make do. But you see now it's already sticking. And it's looking like that. But these big black lines, these gaps in the final, you guys are not gonna see that. Just like most of my other videos, it's just about taking your time. Every part of 3D printing takes time. I think the print takes long until you start getting into this. Start worrying about details, so on and so forth, accuracy, all that good stuff. Doing this has taught me a lot of patience because I'm not impatient, but I don't like to wait. So like I don't really buy things online because if I buy something, I want it now. I don't like to wait, but with this, some things I can't buy at a store. So I mean, hey. I got it pretty good. I'm just going to go on the inside and then just get that really, really connected. And again, you should wear a mask when you're doing this, guys. You don't really want to be breathing this in, especially, especially, especially. If you do put hot glue or if you're gluing first and then doing this, you definitely want to wear um, a mask because you don't want those fumes in your in your face. You don't want that stuff getting in your eye. This, this stuff is terrible. I had a stupid friend in college who tried to heat this up and use it as a lighter. But as you see, some of the like solder still on the tip. So like as he was trying to do that, some of it got in his eye and it was a bad idea. It's kid stuff, you do stupid stuff. When you are young, Just getting over like a little cold or a little sickness. I didn't have the corona or anything like that, but definitely was under the weather. 
So that's why this build is taking a little bit of time for me to post or to do. And I want to be on here sniffling and everything like that. So I know I've probably showed this in like three other videos. Now I'm getting to it. Assembled. So I had this piece that connected to this piece, which was the first bit of the crown, which connected to this piece, which connected to the top. And I did all of that because when I was trying to do the dome, this right here, the way it was coming out in the orientation of the print, it wouldn't have printed. Like I said, I, I like to cut down on support as much as possible. If I flipped it upside down, this part of the ear would have like printed separately away from everything else on the on the helmet. So I would have to use a lot of supports there. And then if I did it this way, the same thing would happen, but on the inside. So I just figured slice it, made it a little quicker, made it a little easier. Give me something more to do. And then for the visor, like I said, I got some 5% window tint. This is like the sticky, like peel in place window tint I'm gonna be putting in there. I don't have the blue that I'm using, but I'm definitely going to show you guys that. But from here, now what I'll do is just sand. I don't want to sand because it sounds annoying. I just sand where I soldered, just so that gets nice and flat. And I'll just go through again, make sure I got everything soldered properly. And then add some wood filler, primer, wood filler, primer, wood filler, primer, wood filler, primer, wood filler, primer blah, 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 and then paint. <laughs> But stay tuned, guys. I'll get you guys to that part. picture that you guys didn't see is when I spray painted a gloss black but again if you want that shiny look I always hit with a gloss black first this is the blue that I used for the full helmet and then this is the silver that I used and then this is the same yellow that I used for my keyblade this yellow here I pretty much just spray painted it on a piece of paper and then just hand painted that in on the on the mask since it was a real small part. And this is just a basic look of how I did the um how I did the visor. Now this is not really the best way. This is just my way of just getting it done quickly. And the files that you get, they actually give you um, a mold. So you can use a custom mold, cut out your mold with the uh with the window tint and then do it like that you see the tape there still because um i have some super glue there just to keep it in place but it still looks just as good uh, if you want to get it that accurate where it's only in the uh the visor you can do it that way um, but pretty much i just put it on the outside and um uh, i'll put it on the inside use some super glue use some tape just to hold the glue until the glue gets uh until the glue gets solid and then you're good from there but here we have the finished product. I'm super pleased with how it came out. This is just my first attempt at one of these, but this is beautiful. I'm gonna put this one in my room. I'm gonna be getting um, some cases, some display cases to put all my work there, but this came out awesome, guys. This is a fun build. I really like doing it. It really got better once I smacked it with that silver. I did the silver first. Once I seen the mouth coming to life, I was like, oh, yeah, I got something here. I put the blue on. I had lost my blue spray paint. I had a gloss blue. Didn't open it, didn't get to use it, anything like that, and it was gone. But, hey, I got another blue. It looks like this one did a lot better. And I'm really happy with this, guys.
All right, guys, as always, I hope that video really helped you guys. I had a really fun time building this Power Ranger helmet. I'm thinking of doing the full series, getting each of the Power Rangers done. I know for sure I love the Black Ranger and the White Ranger. I used to love those two episodes in Mighty Morphin when those two came out. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I'll probably get into that one. As always, guys, if this video helped you, it could help somebody else. So hit that like button, hit that share button. And as always, guys, if you want to stay up with all my recent builds and my how-tos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Besides that, it's 3DB. Thanks for watching. God bless. We're out.